So I just got back from Harrison Dining Hall. The hall officially closes at 7. But as long as you're within the line, as long as you get into the line before 7, it's okay. I, in particular, got into the line around 6.45 p.m. So I was among the last to go to the dining hall at Harrison today. There weren't many fortune cookies left by the time I got in line. And I was able to say what I wanted. I, in particular, chose to get two fortune cookies. Because I felt that was a good number. Cheeseburger tastes pretty good. The reason why I was as late as I was in getting to Harrison was because I attended my criminal law class online. I've recently, finally, unlocked the ability to hire Guardian walking machines, but they're prohibitively expensive. Though the 5,000 resonators I have, roughly, roughly translates to about 500 Guardians. As it is, I can make three every two hours, so that combined with the new collections, which includes one that gets 500 Ionite, three spell manuals, skill manuals, Three flywheels, three resonators, three spare parts, and three unstable ionite cores should enable me to make up the difference. Though, to make up the. to cover the new steel expenses, I'm going to have to upgrade my foundries. Starting this. Upgrade cost me 30,000 steel, fuel, and ammo. It turned out the online sessions for my criminal law class would be done through Collaborate Ultra via 
blackboards, virtual meeting space tab, and criminal law classes from 5 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. And it was during this session, near the end, that as an icebreaker, I shared my name, the fact that this is my first semester as a senior, that I'm a major in criminal justice and political science. Technically, I'm a double major, though I don't remember specifically saying double major. One of the first things I did today was to finish this styrofoam, and this is the styrofoam I showed at the very end of cl the class, Criminal Law. To better illustrate my unique fact about myself to remember me by, which is that I have a hobby of drawing on blocks of styrofoam with Sharpie markers. I believe this is the pen I use to take the notes in this notebook for today's criminal law online session. It being the first class, it primarily consisted of going over the syllabus and over our first reading, the Red Regia case. Though I've not been able to term, it's technically called Regia versus Dudley and Stephens. A case from the 1880s. That I believe was decided in England. I in particular focused more on going over the assigned pages 10 to 12 in my criminal law textbook which primarily talked about the difference between crimes and between torts and how crimes are divided. Whether they're vala and say inherently wrong or mala prohibita wrong because there's a statute prohibiting it. And the other distinction, distinction being between misdemeanors up to a year in jail and felonies. Where the maximum punishment can be more than a year 
in prison. This was also gone over. In the context of I had some difficulties connecting using Microsoft Edge, but I was able to connect to the class in the nick of time. Pretty much at 5 p.m. right on the dot. As for afterward, I stayed a bit to ask the professor some questions that I felt would be important, such as how good participation is defined, the format of the midterm, and The final my Spanish class started at eleven in the morning. I recall leaving around and 20 or so. I only had enough time to stop by the bookstore to check up on my on the books I ordered for my political my politics of geography class. Excuse me. One of these books was a digital book. And I believe in, for another book it was physical, but it wasn't available at the bookstore at the time. Although I learned today that both of these, both of the books are currently on back order, so I wasn't able to pick them up at the Union. I learned today that my American political thought class is going to be moved to two, has been moved to 220. Seymour Union. I'm not sure yet whether that's an improvement or not, or not. Because I'm not all that familiar with what each room within the union is like. I'm just, I pretty much just returned to college since, you know, kind of shut down back in March. After my Spanish class, I I got some lunch at Harrison. And I was able to get some milk during the lunch period, though. 
I dinner, I assumed they had run out of milk again. Though they did have some raspberry lemon brisk. In Game of Thrones Winter is Coming. I grew my dragon Jaden Wood from a whelp to a drake. Which visually doesn't seem to make much of a difference except their head is now spikier. I also got my castle to level 11, thus unlocking the training ground. Which should help me make a final push. In the seven days, And a shark trial event, something like that. We also tried to stop by the Brockport Student Government offices. It seems I don't have swipe access at the moment. Though I happened to see Tyler Brown walk toward presumably his office. And he suggested to me that I that I write, I believe, Megan an email to ask about what my current, co what committees I'm currently a part of. Also, on top of the Guardians for Iron Rage, I also have to produce turrets. <coughs> Drop of turrets, so it can, in order to have everything for when I attack the clan convoys. And the turrets in of themselves are pretty expensive, costing, this is generally the only thing I purchase from the black markets. Costing a flywheel, 250 steel. And 250 ammo each. I was just half an hour late to the last time the clan quest reset, and it cost me pretty big. I had to send 800 genetics research points and 800 mechanics research points in order to 
complete. In order for all five of the five I was given to be the tier five class. The last quest I took was the Open 48 Chess Quest. And I'm not sure yet if I've completed that clan quest yet or not.